Hello, so you may wonder why should you get rid of the computer? It has a lot of advantages, but I will list them now. The first reason is that it is unnatural. You are not supposed to stare at the glowing rectangle for hours without a break. Think about your ancestors. They were hunting, gathering, thinking. And by the way, programming is all about thinking. You should think. As you just saw, things went pretty downhill since I got rid of the computer. But it is not a problem, because I can think without a computer. In fact, you don't need any computer to do simple calculations. And for the complex ones, you have the paper and the pencil. You may argue, but I need internet to verify my math calculations and programming calculations. No, you don't. You just need to study mathematics and programming on the level. You don't need any verification. You should be the verification. And what was the internet designed for? You may wonder. The internet was designed for the military. But nowadays, most people use the internet as a distraction from the real-life work. All those notifications, pop-ups, advertisements and stuff can really drive you crazy when you want to concentrate on work. But what to do if you do programming for a living? How to get rid of the computer in this case? Well, you can follow the path of one guy on Reddit who claims to be able to debug C++ code in his mind. He imagines the whole program and while he sleeps, he goes one by one through the lines of code to debug bugs. He doesn't even need the debugger. He is the debugger. Returning to the get rid of the computer topic. You may think that you should use a phone instead. No, you shouldn't. If you have a choice between using a phone and a computer, Always choose the computer, because you can gain almost full freedom on the computer and you can't gain freedom on the phone, because you can use Linux on the computer. And phones technically use Linux, but it is not really true. In the early days, phones used to run Java, but now they use Linux or Android Linux. In fact, it is GNU slash Linux, or as I recently taken to calling it, GNU multiplied by Linux, because uh, Linux is not an operating system onto itself, it is rather another operating system, or rather a free component of the fully functional system called GNU, Warning. which consists Nerd of the many detected. things, including GNU Warnings. And Nerd and detected. Skipping 30 minutes. But is it correct to call GNU Linux Linux? Warning. Yes, if you are referring Nerd to the detected. Code. By the way, in our Discord server, we develop a new distribution of Linux based on Arch Linux called Verbos. As you see, it looks very nice. But what about Windows? In fact, it is not Windows, it is Microsoft slash Windows. Is it really as bad as people say? Unless you are talking about Windows 7 or Windows XP, Windows is not worth your time. By the way, as you can see, I went outside. So I hope now you have enough reasons to get rid of the computer and do calculations in your head instead of being lazy and using some calculators and stuff like that instead of studying mathematics and algorithms. So thank you for watching and see you later!